All right, what is up, Utah fans? This is Joseph back with the Utah Utes Football Digest. And yesterday, we took huge hits to our safety room with both Cole Bishop and Sione Baki, our two star safeties, declaring for the NFL draft. Again, good problem to have, but still a problem. Less than 24 hours later, about an hour from the time this video is posting, Maurice Rabbit Evans commits to Utah. He is a safety, six foot three, 190 pounds out of Blinn College, Juco product. A guy I'm excited to dive in and take a look at. We're going to watch the tape. We're going to break him down. We're going to talk about him. Definitely looks like a Utah guy and a guy that could make an immediate impact on this team. So we'll talk about him. Before we get into all that, though, guys, please make sure you smash that like button. Seriously, smash the like button. If you guys are happy we addressed the safety position so quickly, smash the like button. Also, comment down below what you guys think of them as we break down the tape. How much more uh, work does the safety room need? Do you think it's solved after this? Do you think we could use some more? I'd love to hear your opinions. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we put out a ton of Utah Utes football content. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is a place to be. And if you haven't already, share a video with a friend, guys. This could be a cool video. You know, if your friend saw the safety situation yesterday and is like, oh, damn, what's going on? Shoot him this. Let him know that we got another good safety coming in. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about Maurice Rabbit Evans. All right, guys. So here he is. Uh, like I said on his Twitter, it's, it said six foot three, 190. Here it says six foot two is what it is. He could have grown a little bit. Really doesn't matter if he's six foot two, six foot three. So take a look at here. So 24 seven sports does grade the Juco players. If you look here nationally, he's the number 62 Juco player. That's a really good sign. Uh, and he's the number five safety safety nationally for Juco. So that means we're getting a guy that was a star Juco player. He was one of the best players in Juco, a top 62 player and a top five safety, a top five player at his position. So definitely a guy I'm excited about. Let's check out the offer list here, guys. Just kind of going down the list here. Coastal Carolina offered him. FAU offered him. Uh, Memphis, UMass, uh, Temple, Utah, UTSA, Washington State had interest from Oklahoma State, Coastal Carolina. Well, that's weird. It has Coastal Carolina twice. That's weird, but. So he had some pretty good offers. It wasn't like Utah was his only offer. Not a ton of blue blood offers, but he did have some good offers. It wasn't like we were the only ones. And I'm definitely glad to see this guy coming over to Utah. We'll break it all down here in a second. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll watch the tape and we'll talk about what this guy brings to the table. All right, guys. And here we go. We are about to watch the tape, tape for Maurice Rabbit Evans. A uh, couple notes before we dive in, because I've already watched most of it. Um, this guy is about that life, dude. He is coming to take your lunch, dude. When you catch the ball, he is going to hit you, and it hit you real hard. Um, initial thoughts kind of reminds me of Cole Bishop, a, a guy that just you can tell. And, and you know, as a, as a former DB, I personally wasn't very good at covering people, and I didn't play college. But I wasn't very good at covering people, but I would smack the crap out of people. That's like what made DB fun for me, and it looks the same way for this guy. Let's go ahead and start watching. We'll, we'll analyze it all, but there's, there's a lot of things to talk about, but that's something you're going to notice right away. He hits, and he hits real hard. All right, check him out there, right of your screen, and over the, over the middle. Boom, dude. Look at this kid. It's like a stick of dynamite. Boom. Damn. Check him out here. <laughs> Dude. And it's good for him, too. You know, sometimes you see these highlights and you see it's just lowering the shoulder and not wrapping up. Now, this kid, it's like he's doing a, a wrestling takedown. You know what I mean? It's like good for him. He's wrapping him up and taking him to the ground. All right. Interception, good field awareness. Look at that. And, and he's in a good position because you got to imagine why he's here. Just look at this. So the safety has this guy here and this guy here. And as he starts scrambling, Maurice follows where he's probably going with the ball and makes a play on the ball. So nice interception here. It was tough to see exactly what was going on before on that play, but still awesome to get an interception. I want to point something out here, guys. Um, 
check this play out. So how this develops. All right. Look at this. This is a subtle thing, guys. So look where he's lined up at safety. Let's take it from the beginning. This is him right here at safety. He goes outside and then comes back in before the play starts. So the quarterback doesn't know if it's zone or if it's um, or if it's man. And then look at this hit. Boom, dude. Look, look at what I'm talking about, guys. So tricks the quarterback. Quarterback thinks that guy's going to be open right as he turns. Boom. Maurice Evans lays the wood, dude. Hard hitter. Real good football player. You're going to see it again here where he tries to confuse the quarterback, not let him know what's going on. Throws it to the flat. Like he baits quarterbacks into throwing to the flat. Boom, dude. And then he breaks up the pass on top of getting, making the play. Really good job here. All right, right here. Middle of the screen and boom, dude. This guy lights people up. Look at that. That's an open field tackle, guys. Look at this. He has to come across the field, make the tackle. Boom. And just lights the guy up. You know how much how demoralizing and defeating that is for offenses when you got the safety just lighting your guys up? <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, a little grabby there, let's be real. Kind of pushes the receiver off his route. Uh, but still, good that he's running guys off the route. I'd rather a guy that's physical enough to move guys off the route than a guy that's not trying to get physical. So he comes downhill here, option, or the pitch man, and just lays the wood. And look, this is, a big, this is a big boy right here, dude. This is a big running back he takes out. And just, boom, fearless. I mean, seriously, guys, like I said, very smart. He's baiting quarterbacks into throwing the ball where he wants them to throw the ball so he can come up and make a play. But on top of that, how hard he's hitting really, really reminds me of Cole Bishop. It's hard for me to compare him to too many other people. All right. Top left of your screen here. Oh, dude, you got to love that. Oh, he drops the pick. Oh, that's annoying. It sucks that he drops the pick, but still, really good job to, to read the play and go up in there and make a play. All right, running back bounce to the outside. Boom. Okay, damn. <laughs> Just lit him up there. Okay, top right of your screen here. Man coverage. Beats his man. Really good coverage. Okay. <clears throat> so that's kind of where we'll end it for watching the tape, but really good play a player that I'm excited. He looks like culturally, at least on the field that he will fit into what Utah wants to do. Smash mouth. We are tougher than you. We are meaner than you style of football. And what I love a lot right out the gate is that he, he came here right after these guys declared for the draft, which means he is coming here because he wants to start. He wants to go fight for a starting position and be somewhere where he can come in and make plays, not, not maybe the place that's giving him the most NIL money and offers. So awesome to see this guy. All right, there's a ton of good here, guys. A ton of good with Maurice Rabbit Evans. One, he hits like a Mack truck. He is looking to cause destruction. He fits the culture, the physicality, the tenaciousness or tenacity that we bring onto the field. He's about that life. The other really good thing that I liked about the tape was that he's confusing quarterbacks, right? In, in pre-play reads, so much of what a quarterback does once the ball is snapped is based on what he sees before the ball snapped. So this is why <clears throat> this is why they talk about quarterback reads, right? There's also you read your options, but you're also pre-play reads. There's also processing, but it's like, Confusing quarterbacks and making them not know what they're about to see once the ball is snapped is a super important part of the game. And it looks like he deeply understands that and was baiting them into throwing where he wanted them to throw. So that's really awesome. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say I feel like crazy confident that he's going to be an elite coverage safety. I'm not saying he won't be, but I don't think that's his thing. His thing is confusing quarterbacks and giving himself opportunities to come downhill and lay the wood. Because that's what his skill set is, is to hurt people. Like, he is just a mean, hard hitter. It's not his only skill, but if you guys get what I'm saying there. So, I'm excited to have him in. I think he will absolutely compete for a starting spot in this safety room. I'm super excited. I feel significantly better right now, especially after watching the tape. The fact that we added a guy is awesome. 
But we added a good guy here. We added a good guy here. So if other safeties in the room can start above him, that's a good sign. If he starts above those safeties, that's a good sign. So kind of win-win, guys. Before we get out of here, make sure you smash that like button. You know, we got some safety help finally. Super excited to see us bring in some talent. I'm sure the transfer portal will just keep, you know, the ball just keep rolling from here for Utah. Also, comment down below, what do you guys think of Maurice Rabbit Evans? Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we put out a ton of Utah Utes football content. And please share the video with a friend. If you have a friend that loves Utah football, get him into the community, guys. Get him onto the page. Just, let's, let's let him hang out, and we'll break down some film with him. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Excited to bring some safeties in, and uh, go Utes.